By the way, guys, I apologize for my voice, so I'm actually really ill, and we were considering cancel the surgery postponing it, but I don't, I don't really want to do that, as you know, it's your preparation. So, so you know, just bear in mind that I am actually really ill. I had a pretty high fever, so however, hopefully, um, the quality should be very consistent with the with the surgery. So um yeah, but my voice might sound a bit weird as well. Um some people have been joking that I sound like corpse husband. <laughs> Anyways, uh okay, so how is everyone doing? Yes, it will be recorded. Okay, so how is everyone doing today? I will get my iPad very soon, but um, in the meantime, give me one second. Six minute group chats. There are a couple of them. Uh, I'll send the link if you guys want. Uh, there's also my YouTube channel as well. I have uh, a couple of links. Uh, one sec. I will be sending them very short. One sec. Okay, so six minute group chat. This one right here. Um, okay, so. If you guys would like to join the six med surgery group chat, there is the free group chat. This is the third one, the over to our four. However, if you would like to join, this is the um, the link. And yeah, it's still Martin here. It's just my voice is just a bit. Um, yeah, I'm just very ill, so watch about that. Um, university life, you guys, yeah, it's a uh, it's a sticky one, lads. Uh, okay, so. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, how do you guys feel about problem solving? Not problem, uh, critical thinking. This is critical thing today. So how do you guys feel like? How do you guys feel about that? Okay, so uh, basically some of you saying it's hard, some of you saying it's okay, but uh, yeah, okay, interesting, very interesting. Okay, thank you guys, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so you'll have access to the recording as well. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, um, so uh, you guys probably know by now that I am at uh, 9, so 9 section 1 is my level at the moment. So I think all of you should know that by now, right? So I think I've said that before. So I'm in the like the 9 zone for the BMAT, section 1. So do you guys know that? Uh, the, the, I'm not flexing, there's a reason why I'm saying this. Um, so, so here, how many of you guys have known this before? So. I'm currently at the nine level, so um, nine in section one, section two is a bit lower, and for the essay it's five A. Uh, but yeah, so um, what what do you guys think my uh, my uh, first score was before I even took the BS? So because I was at your level at some points, and what do you guys think my score was before I saw the might be your preparation? Okay, so people say five, six, four. 
Okay. Okay, some of you are going to be very surprised about from that one person that got a spot on. Uh, but I actually started with a three in section one, and now I'm at a nine. So uh, I joined. I just jumped six scores. It's not like from natural ability clearly because I started slower than some of you even. But I've learned the strategy. Uh, it took me about ten hours uh, more for strategy because. Okay, guys. So um, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if you guys already know about this, but you know I'm teaching at the six med specification, so I'm not teaching you my own. Uh, so um, it's also the scope for well teaching you for my own techniques. However, with my own techniques, I uh, managed to. Uh, it took ten hours worth of like strategies, and then I've been getting like nine in section one, so like it's really useful. Uh, but that's not the point of the session here. We're not going over those techniques, unfortunately. We're going over the, the ones from six months, as it is the six months surgery. Um, it took me like, in terms of working and I didn't like past papers, actually it took me about 100 hours in order to master section one. Uh, but it's, it's quality over quantity as well. Uh, well, unfortunately, as it's um, like, it's not part of the the scope of the surgeries uh, and like as some of you probably know I have a lot of students and I, I really can't like be leaking the strategies that I give them in a webinar with like nearly four, 200 people uh, yes I spent 100 I actually so actually I, I, I'm I not saying you guys should do this but I'm telling you that um, you guys should um, I'm not telling you guys should do this but I did 10,000 questions for the DMAT so I did ten. So I did basically every book. So you know the green book. I did that book. I did the future doctor academy book. I did the Oxford applications, mock papers, to need admissions papers, six and ones. You got Ninja, um, the MSAC, the literally every single thing you can think of. I've done it. And for some of you that might not believe me, uh, I'll actually be giving a tour, uh, for today as well. Uh, I'm just gonna get the books up. So because I can talk about them for today as well. Do you guys want me to do some sort of um mini review as well? Because I can give you an overview of the books that um, I've used and why I say I don't recommend them. Okay, one second. Give me one second, please. Okay, so I should have done this earlier, uh, but you know, I tell you what it is. It's done. It's done. It's done. But yeah. So um, if you guys have any questions that you want me to cover, then just let me know as well. But in the meantime, I will just get the books up for you guys. Uh, some people have been asking for them, and I. I thought I would just give you guys a quick show of what I uh, I did, yeah, basically. Um, so have you guys joined other companies as well? Because you know, let's be honest, I I'm not, I'm not I don't have any favoritism. So have you guys used any other companies as well? Is what I'm wondering. So have you used? Um, I'm not going to mention names. But, uh, have you used anything else? Okay. So was it? I'm talking about just for the beginning. Was it the beginning itself? Okay, sounds good to me. Digging the admissions book, yep. Uh, some people have used it, some people haven't. It's completely fine. You don't need either. Okay, some people have Medify uh, and BMAT Ninja. Uh, okay, okay, sounds good. Uh, what else? Okay. okay, some people have the ISC book as well. Um, Okay. This is a absolute collapse. Oh dear. Okay, so I have to take this one off. Okay. And the Kaplan PMAP book as well. Crap assists. Um, okay, I'll, I think those are the main books. I probably have more here, but I can't find all of them. Uh, I think that might be a okay. I have the Oxford application as well. That's good. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So what else? So uh, some people have using books. Uh, if you're not using more, it's completely fine. Some people don't even use anything. But I'm just quite curious to know where you guys are all at in the preparation because it's really good as well to just know what everyone is up to. So crap. It's just quite handy. So I can just plan accordingly as well. Okay. Um, 
What is this? Okay. So we have this bit. This bit. Okay, I am complete. So I found all the books that I was talking about. I have more, but they are like my hard drive as well. And I can't. I don't have the time to be showing all, all of them. But I have a couple of books here, so I'm going to turn my camera on in a second. I look absolutely shambolic, so apologies about that in advance as well. Okay, okay so these are Martin's V Magnetic. Okay. okay, so. Um, okay, guys, so can you guys see me? I'm just checking. Can everyone here see me? My hair looks like a mess. It's, uh... Okay, so I've used this book right here. This is the IST book that some of you are using. This is the Future Docus Macad book. Uh, Medic Portal as well. I have the Mastering Key Man book. I've used this book as well from Singapore. Kaplan. Oxford applications as well. Hey, six minutes. I did use them as well. Another, this is like the practice test book from Kaplan as well. And the thick unit, oh, this is so heavy. There's the unit missions book as well. Um, and personally, I'll be honest with you guys, I did, I actually finished all these books. I did more as well, uh, but that's not the point. It's not a flex session. I would say I don't recommend any of them. Well, this book is, I'll, I'll think the pros and cons. So this book, um, it had a lot of typos. So one sec, I have my cat here. Okay, so this book had a lot of typos here, uh, so I, I wasn't a big fan of it. And I felt like the questions were a bit too easy, but it has a lot of mock papers. So in terms of the pros, it has a lot of questions. That's, that's literally it. So there's other pros that has a lot of questions. This one, there are no pros. There's just six. It's such bad value for money. And the questions are not even that good as well. They are not that good. Uh, this one here is pretty decent. It's um, basically, it gives you a good introduction. However, as I've said in my review as well, you might need something a bit, something to top it up. But this is a great for if you don't, if you know nothing about the BMAT, this is perfect. This section has the BMAT course ebook. Uh, this is the Oxford applications as well. So this is the seminar workbook. Um, as you guys can see here, we had a lot of very interesting data. Uh, cons, it's not that big. Um, and yeah, it's very high quality in terms of resources. I really like the quality of it. It feels feels premium. Well, you pay a big premium for it. Uh, however, it's very expensive. Uh, but I really like the their approach and like you know this. this I just feel it's very organized. So I really like it. But in terms of strategies, I don't think it's that good. In terms of strategies, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I think I've read out of it. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. Uh, okay, so this is the strategy book. Most thesis strategies as well. This is all right, but I don't think it's that good. Um, this one, I feel like it has been so outdated as well, to the point where I'd say this has always written in 2013. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, do you know what my problem is, guys, with the beyond books? Is that people write them once, and they think that that is enough. For example, um, like they would say, okay, so let's say this book was great at some point. I mean, like Portal One, it was good at some point, up to 2013. But then companies they don't update them. The strategies, like the strategies that courses teach, are not good nowadays. They are not efficient, and this is my worry with the, the industry. At the moment. It's like some of my personal worries that I've I've been talking with my own staff. That's the subreddits is that companies they do not give you efficient techniques the techniques are good for 2013 techniques now they are not efficient you can't use the own techniques that they'll teach you because they are simply not efficient at all hence why i'm not a big fan of them i really 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 dislike them because techniques like and you guys will see i'll be using some of the techniques that uh, are conventional and i struggle with them sometimes whereas with my own methods i'm just like yeah yeah easy so like i don't think it's efficient to learn those methods if anything i'll say don't like i have an appreciative of them but don't go too wild and okay anyways in terms of this book here i uh, need a charger also um so it doesn't just die on you guys uh, okay 
Um, I, I'll have to put it in my lap, unfortunately, because, um, you know, it's my my laptop is about to die, and I don't feel like it's dying in the middle of it. So of this book here, as you guys can see, um, I think it's great. However, the questions are like A-level. It's not GCSE. The, um, the book would have been good if the BMI was A-level, but that's literally it, like, and also, guys, uh, that was something that I was very concerned about here. Was that, um, okay, one sec. I'm going to try to get a good angle here. Okay, so, um, there we go. Okay, so if you go, if you go the, about the authors as well. Okay, so who are the authors? Uh, okay, so, uh, because that was something that really concerned me. Uh, essentially, the authors are like year 12s. Year thirteens. So hence why I, I just I just start thinking, what do they know about the BMATs? They're very saturated. Like they haven't had the time to master it. Uh, uh, so I found that very concerning as well. Um, like, uh, what what are the, what's the author? Okay, so for example, so there is Miss Tanya Rebecca Enoch here, one of the authors of the book. One second. Uh, not sure if you guys can see here, this is one of the authors, and it's a sixth form student. So I just thought, is she even qualified? Uh, and the answer is probably not, which is why I find it very concerning. So I don't recommend this book as well. This book was written in 2016, about four specifications ago. So I don't recommend it either as well. So yeah, guys, um, that is basically like, I just feel like, you know, you guys have to be very careful in terms of what books you buy as well. Uh, I'll go over the strategy in a sec. I've already put the WhatsApp group link. I'll put it again so you can actually find it. Uh, one second. Uh, okay, so. Okay, one second. I'm just about to. I'll put the invite link as well. So hopefully, this should be a bit easier for you to join afterwards. Type answer sent. Okay, so that, that is sorted. That is sorted. Okay, uh, you can't see me right now. I just turned my camera off temporarily because I'm reading the Q and A. Is one month enough to revise for the BMATs? I would say so. Yes, it is more than enough. Uh, how many hours should I revise for the? Okay, so I've got a um. Okay, so basically, so he here sets the. Um, Okay, what's the link? I'll just put it again here. Okay, so he, he sat the BMAT last year, in 2020, uh, with Mr. Metal. Okay, my apologies. I'll switch to my iPads. It's going to be a lot easier then. One second, guys. Can you get, hopefully it should be a lot sort. It should be a, a bit easier for you guys to understand. One second. I'm just going to get on my iPad because hopefully there should be no uh, noise, background noise. So apologies. So I'm, I also live in a very busy street, street life.
Hello, guys. Can you hear me now? I'm just checking. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm just going to try to do something. Um, okay, so hopefully you guys should hear me better now. I am just, I just switched my iPad. We'll go back to my desktop in a second, but I want, I want you guys to just leave hanging. So um, I just joined with us. So yeah, uh, some of you were asking as well, uh, what I got my beer. So um, I was wondering, so um, have you guys take talked? Have you guys taken the beam out last year, uh, twenty twenty? Because if you don't, then you won't have a. Um... Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, um, okay. So for you that have, uh, you probably remember the technical issues. So I was one of the people that had them. So I had five minutes taken off my section one, uh, and. Mm -hmm. I had to skip four questions and guess what? I got 28 out of 32, which is 6.8. So the question that I skipped due to time being taken off were the questions that, you know, could have given me a nine. So I'm actually thinking to be at this year again, just to see what my real score is. However, it is at least a 6.8. I would say it's a nine level because 6.8, four questions that were skipped due to the, the technical issues. And my own students have been getting like from three to sixes. Uh, and even seven, so I'm really, um, hopefully he will follow as well. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm like in the high sixes. Um, it was like, um, I believe it was high, high sixes for everything and also 3.5A for cook reactor. Yeah, so my system also crashed, like the images would not load um, last year. Uh, I got high sixes and then 3.5a in my essay. Technically, um, as well, but it was it was like a, a really big mess. Uh, there are no breaks in the section, so basically you do something and then that's it. By the way, guys, if you send a question, can you resend it again because I can't see it. I just left the webinar. I did. I got six high sixes, so 6.8. Then you said since. 3.5a so it was like a pretty high score it will hopefully be high this year as i'm actually sitting it. i'm actually quite curious so is anyone here sitting the bmat um in an mts center because if you are you might see me uh i'll just sit it for the fun like so i said the bmat every year just to see how it's changing and so i can become the most absolute person on it as well so yeah you know you might um see me because i always sit the bmat every year but yeah uh, without further ado, this is not why you're here. You're here for the strategies. Am I right, guys? So we should start very soon as well. Yes, it is online this year. Uh, you'll have to type out your essay. Yes, you won't have a minute break. Nothing. Um, yes, I didn't learn all of these contents. You must learn all of these contents. Don't skip something. It's very important that you learn it. Uh, yes, we're going through section one in a second. Uh, I applied for Oxbridge, the London Unis, and then Carlton as well. Uh, yes, you can take the online this year, unless you're in Singapore or Taiwan, because this one, you don't have it. Um, so, if you have preparation, I'll say for about six weeks, the hardcore one, but I've been doing it way before then. Uh, if you want to get to Cambridge, it's supposed to college. If you want to get to Trinity, it also depends if you're an international. Uh, so for example, Trinity, they put more emphasis on, on the VMAT. I would say it's international, maybe the sevens. Uh, for keys, don't go on keys or Kyle, for the place you sit. Um, it's definitely a bit harder because everyone is a bit of a try hard. But yeah. Uh, okay, have you taken? Be on paper, yes. I have to be on paper and on the PC, so I'm just have to be here every year. I've been taking the BMAT since 2019, so I have a lot of experience with this because I've been doing it for um two years, uh, or even more, actually, yeah, 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 three years yeah, this year. So, it could be three years. Um, okay, I'm teaching the strategy elsewhere. Well, um, I might drop a few my YouTube channel, but I won't do it. Uh, it's one month now to revise for the VMAT. Yes, it is. 
Uh, okay. Uh, I do not recommend any books because most of them are outdated and the authors are also not qualified. Like some of them are six form students, so I don't think it's um I don't think it is appropriate. Uh, hopefully the audio should be better now. My bad. Uh yeah, so how many hours of revision a day would you recommend? Uh I would say about three to four hours if you want like if you're playing for like a lot of BYU you need and you have nothing else to do. But say three to four hours is great. Okay, awesome. Uh, should we use online question banks? I personally don't use them. I don't think that it's useful for me, but if you guys feel like you would benefit from it, then go for it. Me personally, me, Martin, Martin here, I don't use them. I've never, I prefer even to my students. Like I have a group of students uh, that I teach and I tell them, you don't need any online question banks. Just the questions that I've given you. And uh, guess what? They're getting sixes sevens sometimes even eights but that's where now but yeah well it's up to you if you think you benefit from it the value is very subjective um okay strategies i'll be i'll be giving you guys the the general strategies for the session in a sec i'm just going to finish some questions okay is it enough to do all past papers or just use uh, of the resources Okay. Uh, okay, so this hopefully should have more battery now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start the presentation and I'll go over some strategies. I'll be back to this q and in a sec because I know that you guys want some, some prep. So um, I'll go back to this q and in a sec. Uh, okay, so share screen, presentation. Pop okay, so welcome to the six month surgery. If you'd like to talk to me, you are welcome to message me on WhatsApp uh, as well. Um, let's see if I can annotate those as well. Oh, good, yeah, I can. So, for example, if you want, you can message me in WhatsApp. So, 0740442615. If you're international, they just use plus 44. Um, that's my number. You can also join the six month group chat as well if you'd like. Both are valid options. So, um, if you have any questions uh, from this uh, seminar, you can always um, email. Also, the team as well from team at sixmeds.co.uk as well. So, hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, they can answer for you. So, more questions in terms of, for example, um, you know, if, if there's a useful question, they might forward it to me as well. So, yeah. Um, next question. Okay. Okay. So, who am I? So, I own the subreddit called uh, Dash BMAT Exam. I own that. Uh, we have over 500 members. So hopefully you guys might want to join as well. It's very useful. So I answer questions are free as well. So it's, everything is free, guys. No one's trying to sell you anything. In fact, I have a very strict moderation that resource promotion is not allowed. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of visits. Uh, this was taken like last week. This is probably a lot higher now. Um, yeah, I'm an avid, avid badminton player as well. Um, although I got absolutely destroyed yesterday. Uh, and I love memes as well. So yeah, if you have any memes, you can always send them. I'll have a great laugh. So I, in, I took some A-levels, quite a lot, would not recommend. So I took biology, chemistry, physics, maths, Spanish, Portuguese. I also took Russian. Uh, it's not here, but I thought I would just include it. And then AS for the maths. So I scored within the top 5% of the BMATs, hopefully a lot higher this year, as I will hopefully not have any technical issues. Um, I wrote BMAT books. However, these are not available. You don't bother looking for them because you won't find them. Uh, I taught the BMAT for hundreds of hours. I have insider knowledge from Cambridge assessments, and I've taught BMAT for over three years. So yeah, uh, if you like to check out my subreddit, it's here. My YouTube channel will also be available. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's about it, really, for the plug. Okay, so what you will... Oh, let me clear this. Here we go. So what you'll get away with the session. So you're going to get concise information. So... Um, Let's look at um, what's actually really useful without wasting time, shall we guys? Um, I'll answer um, your queries as well. So if you have any questions, then I can answer them for you. Uh, you can also send your queries to team at sixnets.co.uk as well. We'll, we'll walk over some questions. We'll go over as many as possible within the time frame. Um, come on, next slide. Okay, so critical thinking. I should change the meme, but I feel it's still appropriate for this. Critical thinking. It's actually the easiest to prepare for. It has a steep learning curve, but once you get it, you get it. 
every single time. It's perfect. I love it personally. Um, once you learn these certain strategies, it becomes the easiest part of the VMAT. And some of you that have already mastered it here will probably agree with me. It's once you get it, you get it. Okay, so you've already seen this before, but for the new people, you know, this is the VMAT. So it's a two hour computer based test uh, compromising up three sections. It's cost 61 quid, probably a lot now, a lot more because uh, late fees as well. Ninety-two pounds plus late fees across the UK, and also invalidation fees. So uh, maybe a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, depending on where you live, which is quite a lot. Hashtag capitalism. Okay, so sections: uh, critical thinking and problem solving, which was question. There are thirty-two of those. Sixteen are critical thinking. Sixteen are problem solving. Section two: biology. There are seven questions. Chemistry: seven questions. Physics: seven questions. And math: six questions. Finally, the essay, there's three questions, one on philosophy, the second is more on science, and the third is on medical ethics. And you pick one of them. Key dates, it's over on this website here, if you'd like to check it out. Um, if you'd like to register, um, the deadline is on the 15th of October, but you already have to pay a late fee. Uh, the test date will be on the 3rd of November, and the UCAS deadline is also when the, the, the registration closes as well. You'll get your results on the 26th of November 2021 at 9 a.m. UK time. Universities will shortlist you from the 19th, um, usually Cambridge. So Cambridge, sometimes they send interviews before you can get your scores. Um, so a week before the BMAT. I'm not sure why, but that's how they do it. Um, up to the March 2021 as well. Okay, so um, again, we'll go over the thinking skills. So critical thinking, there are 32 multiple choice questions in 60 minutes. Okay, so yeah, uh, what do you think are the, the biggest errors for uh, critical thinking uh, in the BMAT? What do you guys think are the biggest um, oopsies that we'll do as well? Okay, so spending too long on questions for sure. Time wasted, sure. Making assumptions while using a set of knowledge, yeah, a lot of times that happens. Overthinking the questions, yeah, perfect. So you guys got it bang on. So people, they usually, they'll get, pick an answer and then they will pick something else after they read it, like, oh, actually, this makes sense. Oh, but actually, this makes sense. Um, and like, yeah, you know, that leads to a, a lot of surprises in the results there. So yeah, you guys have to be quite careful uh, with, you know, critical thinking because critical thinking is very hard, not very hard, very easy to uh, overthink. So panicking. So many candidates with critical thinking questions and panic as it looks hard, confusing, or long, or all of the above. Uh, they are meant to be puzzles, uh, so be patient and give them a go. So guys, um, some of you might have already heard that I am, um, when I do be like questions, I don't just see them as questions. I just see them like very interesting puzzles that happen to be uh, determine your chances of getting into university. But they are puzzles after all. Let's think about this. Do you guys start panicking when you do puzzles or do you guys enjoy the journey and have fun? If you, if you have, if you see this as fun, like you have to change your mentality. You don't see this, oh my God, I have to do all these exams. Yeah, as, Okay, interesting. I'm going to do this puzzle here, and hopefully, I will get into university if I do well in this puzzle. That's pretty much it. That's the approach I have to take. Like, it's just the, the most important puzzle that you have to take in your whole life. Oh. Um, like the questions are meant to be like, um, like puzzles. Some people are asking why study, and I'll just put it out there. So, um, personally, I did get into UCL for people wondering. Uh, but I'm not going to use the I don't like London that much. Um, so um, I did get into UCL, but I, I also got uh, other offers, but I don't want you guys to know where I go for some reason. I don't want to plug my university here. Like the way I see it is, you guys should be trusting my advice as just an experienced teacher. Uh, and do you know there's something that people also do quite a lot is people, they will try to get you to become, believe them because they go to the university. Going to Oxbridge or going to um, you know whatever university 
or getting even a really high score does not mean that they are good teachers. Uh, in country, some people are great um, at tests, but they are very bad at teaching. So this is something that I recommend. Like when someone tries to sell you something, saying that, oh, we are Oxbridge medics, or we are UCL medics, or we are, you know, what, Newcastle medics for UK. That doesn't matter. Ask them, how is your teaching? Because teaching, like, being a good academic does not mean you are a good teacher automatically. So be very careful with that as well. But that was just something I wanted to talk about. Anyways, so yeah, uh, be patient and give them a go. Um, like, guys, be patient with questions. Okay, so if it takes longer than two minutes, to solve a question and you think like you're not going anywhere skip it it's not worth it guess and skip uh bad time management so if you can't do the questions quickly skip it don't try to be a hero it's something that will sort with my students don't be a hero uh getting five easy marks will help your application much more than one hard mark they don't care if you got the hardest question on the paper same in gcse some people they usually get all the hard questions right but then they get a b or a six or a seven uh, because they haven't actually learned the easy content. They only know the hard stuff. doesn't matter. It's the amount of marks that matters. So you have to be very careful with that. Uh, remember, all the questions are worth the same number of marks. Finally, uh, lack of planning is also a big problem as well. You can't flag in the UCAP for sure. Yes, for this year, you'll be able to. I'll see if I can. I have time as well to um, you show you the, so the platform this year. Okay, so lack of planning, so some questions like puzzles, think about the methods before attempting a question, something that I also you know, look into. Okay, so critical thinking. So um, there are 16 questions, less than two minutes per question. There are conclusion questions, flow questions, assumptions, strengthening and weakening, parallel reasoning, uh, principles. Interference is not longer uh, assessing the BMAS. So interference has been removed. Um, if you guys have seen those. Main question types are inclusions, assumptions, flaws, and for instance, weakening. So these are the, the most common types of questions that show up in the BMAP. Uh, but the other ones are becoming a lot more um, common in the BMAP as well. Okay, so uh, Q&A function. So you ask questions, vote for the ones you want to be answered. Um, I'll look at them in a sec. Oh, I'm so ill, sorry guys. Um, so segment resources, make sure that you make the most out of them as well. So how can you help you? So you can look at my YouTube channel as well um, at uh, be my exam. You can look for the Sigma surgeries, the Sigma social media as well. Uh, you can get cheaper and paid for books. I don't recommend them personally. I think they are not that good. Um, also, uh, you know, the Sigma Ninja and the six meds and the Sigma Master classes as well. So yeah, you can skip the technique for sure. I'll get uh, I'll cover them very quick. Um, courses, tuition, and BMAT bundles, if you want those, I just have to say this. Uh, unbiased reviews, so you can go for my subreddits, so reddit.com forward slash BMAT exam as well. Uh, reviews are available for six meds before I enjoy the team, so it's unbiased, medic minds, and they'll be over company soon. I'll be making reviews for other resources soon. You're more than welcome to, to um, suggest future resources be reviewed as well. Also, there's something I wanted to talk about. Um, which is that, um, what was that? I shall talk about this later. But yeah, example question will be coming up in a sec and use a Q&A function for whatever you want to be answered. And now we'll go over some actual questions because it's what you guys are here for. Because last session, I didn't go over that many questions. Uh, so I'll try to uh, cover more questions this time here. Okay, so let's go for them. Um, okay, so wait, why is it not? there we go. Okay, put this here, put this here. Um, there we go. Oh, zoom out a little bit. Maybe this. That's perfect. Okay, so um, actually, before I start, like, I want to just tell you guys about the strategy themselves. Okay, so um, so basically, there are, this is how the market will teach you to answer questions. So, for example, if A, then B, A, therefore be and then you'd kind of play around with this for a bit so for example um if if it's raining outside okay so if it's raining i'm wet 
Okay. It's raining outside. Okay, so it's raining. Therefore, I'm wet. Uh, okay, so this is the main thing I want to talk about. So, um, do you get, so if it's wet, doesn't mean it's raining, guys. So, for example, say, so let's say I'm wet, doesn't mean it's raining. I want, I want you guys to um, think about this. So, if I say, so this is the argument form, the first one. If I say that I'm wet, doesn't mean that it's raining. Please put it on the chat. So, if I'm wet, doesn't mean it's raining. Okay, so some people said yes, some people said no. So, okay, so the reason it isn't, and the reason why that is, is because there are so many reasons as to someone what can be wet. Like, I can go, I can, I can have a shower. Um, like, there are many reasons. You can literally, like, it's not just because of the rain. So, this is why you can't go back in terms of reasoning. So, for example, this is not equal to a, you know, like, if you reverse these two, they are not the same argument structure. So you have to be very careful with this. Because people will assume that um, these are like the same. Like, for example, if it's raining, I'm white. So that, that must mean that if I'm white, it's raining. No, you can't go back. So, so if A, then B, means that, does not mean that, if B, then A. This is not correct. Okay? This is not correct. So, um, if you see this, saying that it's the same as this, then you know there's something wrong with it. Um, be very careful with these. So, the only way that it would be valid is if it's not B. Not B. Okay, so. Not B. Therefore, not a. This is correct because if I'm not wet, then it means that it's not raining. It doesn't make sense. Like this is something that's very hard to explain. This is very abstract, but you know, people are like okay. So if a then b, but do you guys understand this uh, logical form? So if a then b, so a and b are premises. So a premise is um is a statement that leads to a conclusion. That is the the official definition. So if a then b, so it's a premise, and the conclusion is the basically the summarizing of the arguments and the premises uh, basically um, sum up, like they support the arguments. Uh, so yeah, the statements are the conclusions. Um, and essentially, if, if the premise A, um, so if A then B to the premises, so for example, if I do this, then this. But you guys have to be very careful that you can't go around uh, and saying the opposite. You have to be very careful with this logic. But I'll, I'll show you this now. Do you guys understand this so far? Because I was trying to introduce you to, this is what common teach you. Like, if you go to the paid courses, they will teach you this. If A, then B. If A, therefore B, there are others. So, for example, let's say you have this one. So, so if, if A, then B. Uh, if B, then C. Therefore, if A, then C. So this is one of one of those. Um, there's another logical form as well. Hope that makes sense. Like, um, I'm not sure if this makes sense to you, uh, but this is a valid argument form as well. Uh, if you guys are wondering, so this is another argument type that we can make. Uh, but now let's apply like this. Uh, I, I personally don't like these methods. Me personally, uh, I think it's very long. It's not efficient, especially for look at this. Look, did you, can you? Can you guys see how long this is going to take? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, one second, guys. Um, there was just something. Okay. Why did Zoom disconnect my uh, other thing? Has someone started a meeting again? Okay, I think someone started another meeting. Uh, again, my heart. I'll just connect back again with this. One second. Uh, okay, but in the meantime, while this is uh, loading, which is very annoying, uh, I'll look at the Q&A. So, um, how do you feel about the recent great boundaries of the BMS? I am. Um, it's expected. Do you guys know how many uh, gap year applicants there are this year? Guess how many gap year applicants there are, guys. It's estimated to be around five to six thousand gap year applicants. 
for 9,000 medical school places. So like, guys, let's think about this. The gap year applicants, they had the experience with the year before. So they're ahead of the competition as well in terms of that. And there are 6,000 of them. So like, guys, this, it's getting increasingly more and more um, competitive because of this. Okay, Martin is back with his... Um, hey guys, that's me. Uh, oh, dude, I'm so well. Okay, so... Um, I'll go back to this, the of gap years, but I, want, I just want to show you guys why I don't think this is efficient. Uh, okay, so, okay, so read the question. This is the first thing you should do, always read the question. So which of the following best expresses the main conclusion of the arguments? Before I go further into this, what do you guys think it means by best expresses? What, what, why do they specifically include best expresses? Why guys is what I'm asking. Yes, but it's also because some of the answers, they might be plausible, but there's, there are some answers that are more plausible than, than others. So this is like a very subjective, this is like very subjective into what is correct and what isn't. Hence why like, you know, it's one of those things, oh, there we go, there's another one, Tracy, but uh, essentially, um, like some of them might also be valid, but some of them are not as valid as others. Like there is, there are some stronger conclusions. But okay, so organic farming of animals and crops improves improves the environment through a reduced use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. But this does not go far enough. Okay, so it's saying okay, so we're gonna okay, it will be better. It will be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. 90% of the vegetable matter fed to farm animals passes straight through with its caloric contents intact. By eating vegetables directly rather than feeding them to animals, substantially less land will have to be farmed. The remaining lands could be returned to its historical state, mixed, decayed with the serious um, fresh problems. Uh, decadence? Is that how you say it? Uh, woodlands. Um, Yes, I did hate shitty uh, English language these uh, Which is why the countryside needs the most of all. So which of the following best expresses the main conclusion of the both arguments? A, organic farming enhances the environment. B, it would be preferable to have totally vegetarian agriculture. C, a totally vegetarian agriculture would reduce the need for pesticides. D, they would there would be a need for less and under cultivation if we had vegetables directly. E, land could be returned to its decadence woodland. So which one do you guys think is the answer? And I'll even like put it on the, I want you guys just, okay, I'll put no one, so, uh, okay. So, uh, oh yeah, who's in badness, there we go. Yeah, I should be able to chat now, there we go. Can you chat to me? Can you put it on the chat, what do you guys think? Don't put it on the Q&A, please. Uh, Okay, some people are saying B, some people are saying D, interesting. Some people are saying C. Okay, what else? Okay, B and D, some people are saying E, interesting. C, um, what else? Okay. Some people are saying A, okay, so it's all over the place basically. Like everyone here has pretty much a different answer, so. Let's go through the method that Compton will teach you um, now. Okay, so okay, so which best expresses the main conclusion? So the conclusion is a statement that uh, is essentially backed up by. So for example, uh, the premise plus premise will support the conclusion. So basically, these three here will be supporting a main point here, is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so the uh, organic farming of animals and crops improves the environment for reduce chemicals fertilizers, but this does not go far enough. It would be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. Guys, look at this. Okay, so let's look at the statement now. This is what they're saying. It would be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. Why? Because 90% of the vegetable matter fed to farm animals passes straight through its caloric content intact. 
by eating vegetables directly rather than feeding them to animals, substantially less um, land would have to be farmed. The remaining lands could be returned to successful states, mixed decades, woodlands, which is what a countryside needs most of all. Um, can you guess how everything is backing up the statement here, like from here to here? Like the following arguments after this are just giving reasons as to why we should do this. So can I just see like how these are all premises up to here? So these are all premises. Uh, like they're all backing up this main signal, which is it would be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. And hence why um, when you look at it in terms of um, like, does it make sense to you guys? That is what I'm wondering. Like, can you guys see why you, I would say it's B for the answer? Can you guys see where B is coming from? Basically, um, if you don't understand, please tell me because I'm here to help you. Uh, like, some people might not. Yeah, it's like it's the strongest opinion. Like, it's kind of the one that everything else is kind of backing that opinion up here. So it's something that you have to bear in mind as well. Okay, so uh, let's look at the chat now, okay. Yes, because it's the strongest opinion um, presented, taking a level of RS. Yeah, fair enough. We love some bit of RS. I went to Catholic school myself, so well, I was a Christian school. But, um, yeah, we had a lot of RS. I'm getting flashbacks now, thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, um, we have this. Yes, yeah, so for example, wood, like, something that hints towards a conclusion, like something that, like, a conclusion is something that's like, usually the four conclusion indicators, so something that sums up the arguments, so therefore, you know, as a result, to conclude, etc. like something that hints towards a conclusion, but this does not work all the time, because sometimes they know these methods, so they would give you something else, like asking a question where everything except the conclusion has words, therefore, but the conclusion did not have it. And everyone else went for every, every little answer except the conclusion because the conclusion did not have any keywords. So people do them, um, they basically, um, you know, they go wrong. So what you have to do is think of the statements that sums up this argument. So for example, organic farming enhances the environment. Does it sound like the entire argument? Does it sum up the entire thing? Like if you could sum up the entire, all these seven lines, which sentence would be the best? Sum all these seven lines up. Like organic farming enhances the environment. Well, no, like it does not talk about, let's say, um, it doesn't talk about the returning to its historical states. So like it does not sum up the entire thing. It would be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. And then you'd be like, yeah, actually, yeah, it is correct because everything else is just backing up this point here. Um, so there's something that you have to wear on as well. Uh, totally vegetarian agriculture would reduce the need for pesticide as well. Well, um, yes, but it does not talk about, well, hmm. yeah, again, it doesn't talk about the, you know, historical sites and also the feeding of the animals as well. Uh, there would be a need for less land under cultivation if we allege vegetables directly, but yes, it does not talk about the pesticides. Um, and like having a totally vegetarian agriculture as a whole. So yeah, there's, and then finally, land could be returned to its next decade as uh, woodlands. Again, this does not talk about everything. So like the one that sums up the entire thing the most is B. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, Adi, that would be correct indeed. Uh, however, this is like, this is not hard because people learn this as hard rules and this is not the case at all. Like, um, so he here has gone to a, a big course before. Yes, yeah, so the conclusion has to mention everything. Oh, did you go to the, you know, the are you in the Oxford program for the admissions? I was last year. Or did you go to the free one? Like, I'm not sure. Uh, but 
if you want to a BMAP course, let me see this question here. Um, I think it's over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's this question or the one in the 2020 paper, which I'll not spoil for you guys. But uh, is it this one? Hmm. I don't think this is a question that I'm looking for. I think it's from last year, um, 2020. So, but, but I want to spoil this. Uh, KG, I would say it's not. Yeah, the answer is B because it sums up the entire argument the best. Like. If you read this, if you read this, can you see how everything in the argument leads towards this? Like, it would be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture because of this, this, and this. Whereas, organic farming enhances the environment because it will be preferable to have a totally vegetarian agriculture. It doesn't make sense at all. Hence why B would be the most appropriate in this case. Like everything is backing this opinion here. Like all the statements lead towards us. And guess what? The definition of a premise is um, a statements that leads towards a conclusion. Like leads is the, the thing here. So like every single statement here is being backed up by uh, B and then B is just like, yeah, and therefore this. So B is like summing up the entire thing. So for example, let's say we have, uh, okay, so, uh, okay, Lato is a man. All men are mortal. Therefore, Lato is immortal. Okay, so uh, can you guys see how this statement here pretty much sends out DC here? Like, yes. So, yeah, so not all mortal are men. So it can be animals, it can be pretty much everything. So, like, you can't go back to this. So, so let's say that it's not mortal. One second, yes. So, okay, not mortal. Therefore, not a man. Okay, guys, one second, because I don't want you guys to be hearing my cat all the time, so I'll just open the door for him. One second. Cat, all the problems. Okay. Bye bye, guys. I have a cat. Cat owners probably know how it is. I'm going to keep scratching the door here. So, um, yeah, okay, I'm back here. Hey, guys, I'm back. Cat owned the problems. If you guys have any pets, you know how it is. Okay, someone says plus is a brush noise. Sorry if I'm just using this next to the flex. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, okay, buddy. So, but does it make sense? I can see how this statement here pretty much sums up these statements here. Like, if you read plus is immortal, you'd be like, oh yeah, it pretty much sums up the entire thing that I've just read. Like, it's, there, there is a conclusion that it sums up the entire argument. A conclusion gives you an overview of everything that you've done. Doesn't make sense, guys. So this is the method that uh, companies will teach you, like in paid courses. Like if you paid for a course, this is what they'll teach you. Uh, and my main decision is to provide those tips for free. So hopefully you'll have, so you won't need that much. Probably not even have to spend money as well. Um, yeah, these are the courses that companies will teach you. Uh, but yeah, um, let's go with that to another question. I'll try to I'll try to use this method here, but it's really like it's very annoying. Uh, I don't like this method personally. Me myself. Okay. Oh, principle. Oh, yeah, principle questions that basically can't really go in the same approach. But let's just see what we can do out of this. Uh, maybe we just go for hundreds. Maybe. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, which of the following best illustrates the principle underlying the argument above? So. Every motorist pays the same amount for road tax, regardless of how much they use the roads. Someone who covers as little as 1,000 miles pays the same as someone who covers 20,000. This is unfair. Okay. Road tax should be scrapped uh, and the money uh, raised by an increase in the tax on car fuel 
Making this change would ensure that those who use the roads more would pay more. This would not only be a fairer system, but could bring in more revenue. So basically, can you guys see in, in a nutshell, like if you could give a Mickey Mouse version of this, it's basically, for fairness, those who use something more should pay more. This is the principle. Look, can you guys see where I'm coming from here? So this is the principle right here. So basically, if you use something more, you pay more for it. Like the more you use, the more you should pay for it. Can you get, does it make sense for you guys? Or is that confusing? Uh, Someone asked what I'm going to finish. I'll be here for a while. Uh, technically, it, technically the, the thing is like, I'll, I'll say yes. So I am, I'm hired to stay here until uh, 3, 3 30. But I personally don't mind because I'm, I really like helping all of you guys. So um, even though my, my, tech, my, um, my time here is only until like 3 to 3 30, I also, I don't mind going a bit over it. So I don't mind because you know, it's your preparation. I'm here to help. But yeah. I think it has ended, so if you guys want to go, you can, but I will plan to cover a bit more things here and answer some more questions, which is great. Okay, so um, option A, people who receive free medical treatments only if they cannot afford to pay for it. Well, it does not talk nothing about use here. So like, this is quite relevant. It does not talk about more use because more, like more expensive. People who travel to work every day by train should pay a lower fare than those who travel only occasionally. This goes against the principle because, you know, it says that if you pay if you use something more, we pay you more for it. So he's incorrect. People who earn more than double the average wage should be made to pay much higher charges for medical treatments. There's not talk about use, but income earned. So the more income doesn't mean they should pay more for something. It should be for use, not how much you earn. So he's incorrect. Television channels should be paid for by, for by subscription so that only those people who watch them should be made to pay. Very plausible. Telephone charges should be higher for business customers than for the domestic customers because they are using the system only to make money. Again, no relevant. So the answer is D because it talks about, you know, you should pay more or we should pay for it if you use it. People that don't, don't, don't use it don't pay for it. So therefore, the answer would be D in this case. So yeah, doesn't make sense, guys. By the way, some here is talking about stop marking. What do you mean, stop marking? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, but I'm just writing it on the page here. Um, so hopefully it will be a bit, like I think it's more interactive from, from writing on the page as well. Instead of just, you know, okay. Uh, but yeah, can we get, let's look at something that's actually a little bit more interesting. Okay, uh, question four. Okay, so one second, one second. Uh, someone said, but the text is about motorists, not television. Okay, good point here. However, look at this, it's a principle. It's like, for example, let's say that, um, Let's say you talk with your friends about, let's say, um, oh, can, uh, I'm trying, can someone just come up with something? Um, I'm, I'm very ill. My brain is not working that well. But yeah, it's like an analogy, basically. It's like, oh, yeah, you think that um, rich people should pay more taxes. That's like saying, um, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't think of an example, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very ill, guys. Sorry. But it's basically like an analogy. Principles are basically analogies. Pretty, pretty much, yes. Like, oh, you're saying that people, like, you, this talks about the motorists, basically the analogy is like, oh yeah, people should be pay more for something if they use it. If they don't use it, they don't pay as much or nothing. Uh, and that's exactly what D is. It's an analogy. It's saying, it's giving the exact same thing. Um, like, um, for example, you know, for example, let's say you and your friends talk about Trump, just like as you would. Uh, let's say you're like, oh yeah, 
Trump is a great president. So like, oh, really? It's like saying, um, I have, this is not my own political opinion, but I'm just giving an example um, for academic purposes. So let's say, uh, oh yeah, it's like saying uh, Boris Johnson is a great prime minister. Not my own opinion personally. This does not reflect any of my views whatsoever. I'm just giving an opinion for academic purposes. But yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like just say, you know, uh, you're like, oh yeah, you think this guy's, this guy's terrible and you think he's good. That's like saying that this terrible person is good as well. Yes, the answer is D. It's basically giving you an example, something. Let me just pick up another analogy. So for example, um, oh, you think that my, oh, you think that my Nikes are, are don't look, yo, for example, <laughs> okay, so you, so you know like those people that are obsessed with sneakers. Oh, oh, so you, you think that my um, my Nikes Air Force Ones are cheap, yeah? That's like saying that my Gucci bag is, uh, is cheap, bro. Can you guys see how it's like, it's the same analogy, like it's something expensive, but people think it's cheap. Um, There's like a, like it's, it's the same principle. Like it's, it's, it's just like an analogy, basically. That's what principles are. It doesn't make sense. And because you, uh, you, you didn't seem very sure, so it doesn't make sense now. Okay, great. I'm really glad it helps. Yeah, I've really tried to explain things in different ways if people don't understand them. Okay, so. Uh, I'll go over like a couple more questions so that we can't just yet. Um, thoughts, great. Okay, where is my pen? Where is the Apple pen? Uh, I think I've just lost it. One sec. Where is it? I think I've just oh, dropped it. I would say my shirt. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, I just look at my pen as well. There we go. It's much faster now. Okay, so uh, which is the following statement? It's called the floor. Um, is the best statement of the flaw the above argument. So, talk about flaws. So, something that doesn't like it's something that's a flaw in the argument. So, only shareholders are eligible to vote on the proposed takeover um, of the company by a large multinational. They can either uh, vote for or against, or abstain by not voting at all and decide with the most votes wins. So, if the majority votes in favor, the takeover will be approved. However, less than half of the legible voters are in favor of the proposal, which means that the takeover will not be approved. Okay, let's think about this uh, properly. Okay, so, so it's, they are saying that uh, the majority votes in favor, so the takeover will be approved. This is what they are saying. Uh, this is what essentially they are saying. So, uh, oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure what just happened there. Okay, so, um, so it's saying less than half of the legible voters are in favor of the proposal. So, which means that they will not be approved. What is what? What is wrong with the statement? So, let's look at A. Some of those in favor might change their minds and vote against the takeover. Is this a, is this a possible flaw, guys? Do you guys think so? And why? Why not? This is a possible flaw. I'm saying, is, is A a possible flaw? So some of those in favor might change their minds and vote against the takeover. So why is this not a flaw? Most of you have got the correct answer, but I'm still trying to make you think as to why um, it is or it is not a flaw. Yes, it's not relevant, basically. Yes, yeah, so this is actually not very relevant at all. Like, it's just not relevant to the argument, is it? Like, you know, even to change your mind, um, because I think some, um, so basically some, okay, so what is some? So for the UK people, so what's some equals to? What's sum equals to? Guys, what's sum? You know, sum is one up to 99%. So it's basically not between one and 99%. So yeah, 
Um, that's something that's, that's a keyword that we should bear in mind. The, that was just something I wanted to highlight here. Okay, so some of those in favor might change their minds and vote against takeover. That's not really the flaw. That's something that's a bit more flawed than this. Uh, because if, the, if people change their, like if people change their minds, and this is a completely different scenario, that's not flawed. That just means that different circumstances can happen. Like, guys, you can have different scenarios, different situations for this. Uh, B, the large multinational could pull out to take over deal, which may, uh, which way the vote goes. This is relevant, guys, to the argument. Is B relevant? Exactly, it is not relevant. Not relevant at all. So this is not relevant. This one here gives a different scenario. Like, it does, because, there are, because there are different options, this does not mean that uh, it's flawed. Like, just because, you know, Let's look at see. Some voters may abstain, meaning that one side could win with less than half the votes. Can you see? Can you see for the statement here? If you put C over here, would the argument still make sense? Would it? If you put C in the above argument, would it make sense? Yeah, you would not make sense because so it's saying if the majority vote in favor, the takeover would be approved. However, less than half the eligible votes are in favor of the proposal, which means the takeover would not be approved. Uh, like the it basically will the argument will collapse because if it's a because they're saying that the takeover will not be approved. Look here. Yeah, they're, they're asking for certain. They're saying that the takeover will not be approved. But then you say, oh. It could be proved, then they like com completely contradicts the arguments. Mm -hmm, correct. Um, essentially, the arguments do not make sense if you put C in it, which is a good way to check for flaws. If the argument falls down after you, um, you put the statement there, then it's the flaw. You find a flaw. So, that's another strategy to go for. Yes, that is a conclusion. The takeover will not be approved is the conclusion. And then you say that, and then C is like, once I could rule in with less than half the votes, then you're saying that it could be proved. So you are actually contradicting uh, the conclusion. Also, guys, let's think about this for a second here. Well, how it was about logical form? Look, if, so, if the majority vote in favor, so if A, the takeover would be approved, then B. Can you guys see how I've made this? So this is A. So this one right here is A. And this is, this is B. Can you guys see it? How I've, I've done this. So A equals the majority votes in favor and then b is equals to the takeover will be proved so can you guys see how this is clearly not the the conclusion here some people support this this was the conclusion but it's not because of this can you guys see how it's if a then b it's a premise doesn't make sense for you guys. It's a premise right here. It's a battery over there. Here we go. Yes, a flaw is meant to contradict. Exactly. It's not E, it is C. Um, but, okay, so it doesn't make sense for, so far. So far, so good, guys. So this one right here is the, um, you know, it's a, it's a premise. So if the majority vote in favor, the takeover will be approved. So if A then B, hopefully that makes sense. So if A then B. And then it says that, however, less than half of the legal voters are in favor of the proposal. So it's saying that not A 
therefore not b. So here, so this is a not a. So this is not a, uh, which means a takeover. So it means therefore not b. Can you guys see how I've done this? So this is the argument. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. So the argument here is. A then B, not A therefore not B. Okay, so A then B, not A therefore not B. So that's the arguments. Now let's look at this. Some of them have saying, which means that once I could win, uh, it doesn't help the votes. Now, can you guys see how this is A or B? Can you guys see how like there, there are different scenarios? Or B or C, like different two different scenarios. So you're adding, um, no, actually it would be B or C because there are the different scenarios, maybe. Um, no, actually, um, means that once I could win, B or not B. So this is basically B or not B, therefore B or not B. So we'd be adding if you added this. So can I guess see how we've said not B, but either B or not B. So it's, it's a simple contradiction. So you said that there's only one scenario here. He said that there are two scenarios. And that's why it's a flaw. Um, like you think that there's only one scenario, but there are actually two or, or more. Doesn't make sense, guys. Any questions before I move on? Okay, okay. Down to a C. Yeah, if they have saying it, it, it does not count as a vote. It's like no. Okay, so if A then B, okay? Makes sense so far? So far, so good. So if A, then B. So if the majority is in favor A, then the takeover will be approved, then B. Um, less than half the leverage of voters are in favor of the proposal. So that means it's not A, like the majority is not in favor. So not majority of favors, not A, therefore, not B. I've left a space here for for a vote. It's not B. Okay, makes sense. So can you guys see how I'm saying that this can't happen? Therefore, this only the scenario. This is what will happen. Makes sense. So I said that not B. So the takeover will not be approved. Like there's only one scenario here that I've stated. Makes sense. Which is a takeover will not be approved. Um. So that's the first one. And now here on seven C it says some voters may abstain. So C, meaning that one side could win with less than half votes. So it's saying that B or not B, so whereas B is the, the ticket will be approved, which is, if you put this here, B or not B, can you guys see how this will completely contradict everything? Can you guys see how there's a contradiction? Firstly, I've said that there's there are two scenarios. Now I think there's only one scenario, uh, and this is why this will be a flawed statement. Hope this makes sense. If it doesn't care, you can always reach out to me on the chat. Uh, but this is how we do it. The strategy is exactly the same for pretty much you know all the critical thinking questions. This is literally all the methods. How do you use the premises to find the flaw? So I looked at I looked at the premises. Then I include the floor here. So this is the floor, B or more B. And you can I guess, and if you can see that the there is a contradiction. There is anyway in the argument, there is a contradiction. So if A then B, not A, therefore not B. And then I say B or no B. So I'm I'm contradicting myself. I'm saying that there's one scenario, but there are two scenarios. So like that's why that's how you use the the premises to find the floor. You basically uh, look for the yes. B or not B, whereas he is saying just not B. The conclusion says not B, 
only not B, whereas the, the flow is B or not B. So it's giving you like two scenarios, whereas the, the conclusion only has one. So there's a, a complete flow of this. Mm -hmm. And because there's a contradiction, that means that argument's flawed because no. If you, this called a, it's called a, um, actually it's not, it's like to me, but um, yes, that's my reasoning. No worries at all. Uh, what was your reasoning? Is what I'm wondering. What, 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 how did you guys reach the answer? How have you guys reached the answer? Okay, so someone said that uh, find something which would contradict what the paragraph is saying. Okay, someone said, kind of just kind of just came naturally, but, uh, but not of the builders' one. They were actually built some interesting. So therefore, it's a flow. The rest were relevance, okay? I read all the options, and see the most reasonable flow. Okay, that's very reasonable as well. See the contradicts what I could see against the passage. Great. It makes the assumption that all are uh, uh, in favor and actually votes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's relevant to the arguments. Did it make sense? Yeah, that is completely correct. Well done, guys. I actually have, I, I, use, I have three methods to do this question. This was just the first one, which is what companies use. I think it's very inefficient, personally. Um, can you see, like, think about this, and this is why I said, like, be very careful what you go to courses with, because they'll teach you this. And do you guys think I could, you could possibly do this in, like, internet? Be honest with me with yourself. Do you guys think that we can spot and find the, the logical if A then B, and then work that for all of these? Do you guys think that that is reasonable? Realistically. Yes, time is no reason, which is why I say like, you know, most of the techniques that are being taught are not very efficient, which is why I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it's like, even the stress as well, like I told my students like, guys, don't use those. Know why people do them, but don't use them. Mm -hmm. Well, there's actually a lot of time once you actually master the, the techniques, like, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I had a, had a mock. So my students did twenty twenty people. So B mass twenty twenty, uh, and they actually had fifteen to twenty minutes left. More in section one, like they finished the entire paper in forty minutes. So like, once you master it, you will, you guys will you you'll fly for the paper. So yeah, guys. Um, fair enough. Okay. What are you aiming for? I feel like all time you just need strategies is your issue. By the way, guys, I feel like there is no more like this is literally all the strategy. Like you just apply it for all the cool questions. It's literally the only time that companies six will teach you. So this type of method can be worked for every single type of question. So conclusions, or law, assumptions, kind of reasoning. You just use the logical tools, which is in A and B, etc. Uh, so I think it makes sense. Do you, have, do you guys have any questions? Or I'll go back to the Q&A. I'll do one more question so you guys can see how it's done again. And then I'll just stop doing this. Like, I think that's not, there's only so much value you can get from me just doing a lot of questions. But I'll do the last one so you guys can just see another example. So if you want to uh, make a salary these days, you have to get, ex you have to gain a considerable experience of working abroad. So if A, then B. I've always wanted to do an salary. It's obvious that I'm going to have to leave this country for some period of time. A, therefore B. Okay, so this is the argument for 11. So this is the argument here. Okay, so if I have more time to spend on these projects, I know they would be very successful. So if A, then B. Uh, not A, therefore not B. And hence why A is incorrect. 
because that's it. I'm not going to give you enough time. And like the structure just does not match. Sam knew that if he wanted to write a film script, he'd have to learn the special techniques needed for such scripts. So A and B. He has enrolled on the course to learn how to write them. So he'll be writing his first script. So um, B, therefore A is what it's saying. Can you guys see here the answer here? How like he has used something that's very correct here, the logical arguments. It's not the same reasoning, it's not the same reasoning here. Because here's if A, therefore B, here is B, therefore A. Completely different. So be very careful because some people fall for this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to raise it and raise it because I need more space. But hope so. A and B are incorrect because of this. Okay, so N incorrect. If the foreign secretary can bring the two sides together for talks, there's a good chance for peace. So A and B. Peace is something that both said once. B, therefore. Hey, again, contradicts it. C is incorrect because it's just C is the A. Completely wrong. Does not follow the logical structure. If the doctor thinks that you should be allowed out of bed for a short while, then he must be recovering from both well operations. So A, B. So A is the doctor thinks you should be allowed out of bed. You have recovered much quicker than she thought you'd have. So you'll be out of bed a lot. Okay. It's B, therefore A again, because it's saying you have recovered much quicker than she thought, uh, which is B here. This is what we said is B here in the argument. We said B as recovering well from your operation, and it starts with you have recovered much quicker than she thought. So D would be incorrect as well. Can you guys see how this just takes ages, which is why the language methods? It's very time consuming, but it's what's taught. I will teach it. Uh, Amy, say, uh, Annie, or Amy, uh, say Annie, uh, says that if she really wants to win the London Marathon race, she'll have to train very hard every day. So, train hard every day is B. She wants to win the London Marathon is A. So, if A, then B. Um, she told me that she's determined to win the London Marathon, which is what she says here. We said this as A, so that means that she'll be working hard on her training program, which is therefore B. So the answer is E. That's it. Obviously. That's the answer. Answer is E. What are you for, guys? It's very useful, but I feel like it's very time consuming. I don't like it because they have my own techniques. Uh, should we just look for another? Prior reason question. I can just show you how quick I can do that. I'm not going to tell you what my method is, uh, but I can just tell you the answers very quickly. I can't show you the method because it's uh, not part of the scope of the surgery. Uh, but I'll show you my methods, and you guys can see how um, how fast it can be actually done. Oh, not, I don't want this segment here. Uh, okay, so I'll do this for another question. Parallel reasoning. Okay, there are more here. I'll I'll take one second. I'll actually do email 2020 one second. Uh because then I can just you know do that. Uh, okay, one second. I'll do email 2020. Uh so you have already done this. It's probably gonna be a bit useful. Okay, so I'll do the BMAT 2020. Um one second. No worries. I have, I'm, I'll just show you guys how fast I can do one of the questions, okay? I have not seen these. I have the... Um, okay, let me just show you. Okay, so... Okay, so I'll do another question which looks a bit hard. Okay, so point 23, okay, guys? Okay, so can we just put a timer here? Okay, I'll, I'll put a timer uh, on the screen so you guys can see how fast it can actually be done. 
like this is why I have my own methods instead of here. I'll show my entire screen so you can see everything that's been done here. One second. One second, I'll close all the other slides. And then this, okay? So uh, and then we can check the marks. Okay, so 23, my time starts now. Actually, it's going to be this one. No, it's going to be this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. 50 seconds. That's how we talk. That's it. 51 seconds. And we, we looked at Mark's theme. Um, I've actually, I can do this in 50 seconds, but this is like, so this is like the hardest question in the paper. So this is like the hardest in the paper. So I, I did some, like, if I could, for example, question one, which is like another parallel reason. I can't spell my own method, but like I'm just I'm just trying to highlight here that some people have other methods which are very fast, uh, which I've been teaching, and like those methods are very fast. Uh, another part of the reasoning question. So this is question one, okay? Let's look at uh, this one, for example. Okay, so okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Five percent. Okay, so. Let's put this over here. Sass now. I'm pretty sure it's this one. 27 seconds, and I'm going to check the mark scheme uh, here with you guys. But can you guys see it? Like, uh, hold on, let me just look at the mark scheme here. Um, if it's wrong, that'll be awkward. 1D, I said 1D. 27 seconds, guys, for power reason question. That's how fast I am with this. 27 questions two, for one mark. I can do this for the entire paper as well. The hardest questions take me 50, 50 seconds, the easiest questions take me 20 seconds. Sure, 23, uh, wait, 23, what's it? Okay, so 23, I've, I took 51 seconds, was it? I said it was uh, option B, right? I said option B for 23. Uh, yes, so 23, um, and look, 23 B, here, here it is. There we go. Uh, it's correct as well, as you guys can see. Yeah, you guys see like, it's just really fast and you got, I'm just trying, I'm not trying to scare people, uh, but you guys are competing against this uh, because I'm teaching some school as well. And you guys are competing against these people. Like these people know my methods. Uh, if you're in one school. So if you're in school in Surrey, the one in Canada, the one in Cardiff, you guys know my methods, but uh, some people know. So this is a very, very short, small number of people that do. But, you know, it's still gonna affect the boundaries this year, I would say. So I'll tell you guys have to prepare a bit harder because I expect, so my methods are being leaked this year. Uh, for the school that I'm working with, you have more gap year applicants, and you have like, you know, just yeah, pretty much you have people with my methods and people with the gap year, uh, which is nearly six thousand or at least five thousand. So it's, it's definitely a very competitive year, and you guys have to prepare accordingly. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, like you find a session useful. Uh, that is about it. I don't work with individuals because I'll be honest with you guys. Do you know why I'm doing the surgery? Is because I feel like. I'm giving it a better impact if I do this for so many people. Like, I'm only like, uh, I'm, I was, uh, I get paid for like an hour basically. I'm being transparent with you guys. I get paid for like an hour. Uh, but I, I like to see more of you guys because I, I like helping you guys. So, like, you know, uh, I don't really particularly mind, but for some of you, yes, I am technically supposed to just do one hour. Uh, but I don't care. I like doing this. It's fun. Uh, yeah, so stop sharing. Now I will just go back to Q&A. Uh, that's it for today.
hopefully this, the you know the presentations were useful as well. There wasn't much to cover, but hopefully you got some useful. I'll just ask questions now, and that's it. So you are free to go if you have no questions. Also, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Uh, I will be posting some tips of my own. Um, so yeah, if you guys want, then feel free to do so. I'll be posting it on the chat um, as well, so you guys can check check it out. Okay, one sec. Okay, so uh, my bitly link is this one. If you guys want to go to my YouTube channel, so it's okay. I'll just I'll put this a bit nicer. Okay, so bits dot ly forward slash vmats mountain. If you guys want to go for my YouTube channel as well, so that is, um, it's very so it's Bmat Martin, yeah, Bmat Martin, with an M at the end. Uh, if you want to um, look for the YouTube channel, I will hopefully be posting more stuff soon. But that is my YouTube channel. I look like an egg on that video. Ignore it. It was a bad that I made with some friends. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's look at the journey now, which is what you got us also here for. Uh, if you could recommend one book, question resource, what would it be? The free papers. So the NSEA and the PSA papers and the BF papers. Like, my students have not used, guys. I'll, I'll tell you something, and you guys can ask this. So if you're in my group chats with the Reddit, the Be My Exam, the group chats, um, like, there are some questions that for well guys with one month they went from a three to a six, three to a six with not much preparation. So like, it's just I feel like my method would be handy. So I really recommend checking those out. And also, if you want to check the the group chats, uh, it's here on on the chat. If you want to join my group chat as well, uh, that's my WhatsApp group chat. Okay, what is your fast methods? I can't leak it unfortunately because I can't. Like I have more responsibility as well to look after my own students. Uh, but hopefully the method that I should, the general methods will help, help you guys quite a lot. Uh, uh, okay. The, my own method will not be leaked in this session, unfortunately, because it's not in the scope of the six net course. However, hopefully you guys will find it useful. My YouTube channel is in the chat. Uh, in, okay, bits not master. Okay, there we go. How can you learn your methods? Is there a separate course you teach? No, I don't. Uh, well, I do, but it's for schools. Like I, I work with schools. So if you guys want me to come to your own school or just help you out with your school, then feel free to hit me up. Um, I promise that I'm a lot better. Like I'm just very ill today, so I'm not thinking that well today, but. Yes, uh, I do teach, but it's mostly with schools and organizations like Six Month hired me for that as well. So like I just do mostly with work, work with schools and companies. That's what I work with because it has a big audience and I like it. Plus it's more engaging. Okay, um, what's the end? Okay, didn't get that, okay. How do you feel about the raising boundaries of the greenhouse? I it's expected. I'm, a bit, I'm not worried for my students, but I'm worried for everyone else that does, does not know and doesn't have their, their own preparation because um, I feel like there is just a big inequality gap for being a prep, where some people can afford thousands of tutors, some people can afford, you know, for example, some schools can afford me, some schools can't. Uh, and that's just something like, some schools can afford to get courses, some schools can't, some people can't, like, like, it's just something that I really hate personally. Like, me just being honest with you guys is that, like, I think it's just, it doesn't begin the inequality of the access to the amount of resources. And it's something that I really hate personally. Um, so that's why I made the my subreddits is to hopefully help people out as well. Like, you can just go to the forum and ask questions. It's free. It's literally, when I have free time and me and my friends, we just go there and ask the questions. So hopefully it helps you guys. 
Um, premises is a statement that leads to a conclusion. That's what a premise is. Um, there is a method that does not use premises. That's the method that I use for power reason for the position I've just asked here. Yes, there is a method, but that's the method that you use that does not use premises. And I think it's a lot faster to uh, I, I do read the options. Well, it depends on the, if, if the options are very short, I read them. If they're very long, I don't bother. It depends on question by question. Do you think we should do quite section 140 to 45 minutes instead of one hour when the papers? Yes, I think that's useful, but sometimes it's just not worth it, is it? Like, why would you do that? But if you want to, go for it. Uh, you will help me quite a lot, especially with it. Oh, uh, can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me? There we go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but there is a faster method, as I was saying. So does the power reading always have repetition? Uh, yes, it sometimes it does. It depends because sometimes I have trick questions like last year. Uh, do you know the method that I told you guys for if A and B? That method did not work because they did they the conclusion. Do you know how the conclusion is at the end for parallel for for like parallel reading? They actually very sneakily made the conclusion that they made the conclusion after the start. And some people got that question wrong. If you don't like. If you use that, that method robotically, you would get that incorrect because you need um, to have like some sort of critical thinking. Um, like I, either you knew my methods or you just spotted it, the conclusion thing or you get it wrong, basically. Like, I think it's the BMAT 2020 question. Actually, it's the question that I just did, question 23. That question, everyone got it wrong because people, let me just show you, actually. I might even go, go there. Uh, okay, okay. I think I've closed it, I have to open it again, one sec. But yeah, most people actually got it wrong because they did not spot this. 23, let's go for this. Okay guys, so here, uh, should we update any second now? Okay, so can I guys see here how about it? The bill on that. Probably the bill not. That zoomed in. Much better. Okay, so can you guys see here on this answer how this is a conclusion? It says Christina will not be able to go to interview. Like this here should have been here. If you use the methods, if A and B, you realize that the conclusion is in the wrong place. And guess what? They did this on purpose because most people, they use this method robotically. They know that people buy these courses, uh, and if you use them, you'd be pretty much you know, you'd lose a mark. You'd waste so much time because these are very long. You would lose all the, um, you know, it's just time wasted. Which is why I'm not a big fan of them. But you know, with this one, as you guys can see here, like this falls afterwards. So if A then B, uh, if not A but B, therefore you know whatever. Like, um, what I'm just trying to say here is that. Um, sometimes these methods have special cases where they don't work, such as this one here. Whereas you need something else, either my methods or you just spotted this, which is very hard within the time pressure because you, you like the question if you were already stressing if you if you got stuff right or not. So most people will miss it out, which is a shame. But yeah, uh, twenty three has already been covered. Hopefully, uh, oh, I have already covered question twenty three. I'm not sure. Yeah, I do private tuition, but it's mostly within school. But you can always text me in WhatsApp, which is this number right here. Plus four four seven four zero triple four two six one five. That is awesome. And you can also join the six minute group chat as well, or you can get Bima Sensei as well if you guys want. The Bima Super Sensei from six minute if you guys want those instead. They are probably a lot cheap as well. Uh, so if you guys want to check those out. You might want to up to you guys, uh, but yes, I do. Um, is there any question time for the method using premises cannot be used? Yes, we just went over that method. That question, question 23 the method would not work at all. Data channel has been shared bitly, 
uh, so yeah, bit.ly bits.ly forward slash bmats motto. That's my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. And I'll put it on the chat as well if you want. That's the one. Um, okay. That's my YouTube channel. I the, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, run the crash courses, unfortunately. I'm just on surgeries and I like, I do this for fun. I, um, I don't actually do the crash courses. No, no, I would put my methods on the crash course because it's not a specification for sex meds. Uh, the techniques are not my subreddits. Sometimes I do plug in stuff, good info, because for example, I am predicting what this, the boundary will be for 2020. It should be out by this week, actually, uh, next, the, the incoming week, for 4th to the 10th. And I'm, I'm using, so last year, I predicted the exact boundaries for 2020, like literally. I have a, I have a, a diagram here. Do you guys want to see it, by the way? It's, uh, wait, I don't think I can show and yeah, actually, I can't show it. Uh, but essentially, there was like a graph where I predicted like the curve. Uh, even though most people were like, "You're crazy," when I showed it to them, but it was exactly the same. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, wait. I'm, okay, somebody wants to see it. Let's see if I can just get away with showing some of it. One second. Google, Excel. Let's see the Google Sheets. Let's see if I can somehow uh, plug in a couple of things here. There. I'm just trying to see what I can get away with without annoying my schools because you know if they're, if they're hiring me to do stuff then obviously they want results so uh, there's also that conflict of interest that i have to bear in mind as well okay uh, section of mark converted uh, okay okay one sec, one sec. where is it where is the graph I'm just trying to find the graph on set, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, I don't think that is the one that was, that might not be the one that I'm looking for. There's another one. Uh, where's the other graph? Uh, it's the other graph. Uh, one sec, I'm gonna go more stuff so if I can find it, but I'll have to blur the axes. So some people don't actually be uh, my resources. That might be the one. Uh, yeah, I have like a group chat with like my resources building the program. Uh, okay. okay. Um, um, Okay. Um, let me just I can find it. I'll show you. I'll I'll try to find it once I end the recording, so you guys can probably have a look at it. It's a very interesting graph, um, but I don't wish to put it on the recordings because it's quite confidential, and uh, it's my own work. Like I had this idea, uh, so I'll just put it afterwards. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't run the same as crash courses with it. Yeah, so you can use the premise methods for the conclusion questions for sure. Power reasoning sometimes, not always. Sometimes. Uh, yes, we'll have six months surgeries for other sections of the BMATs. Yes, we will. One sec. But yes, we'll have them for other sections of the meetings. Principal questions, I think we're already worked over it. Uh, the definition of a principle, especially like an analogy, basically. Principles are analogies. Okay. Um, will you ask 76 mystery for the sections? Yes, we will. Um, Yes, yes, I have seen like, I have seen all the um, uh, older approaches. So there are, I think there's like three or four approaches 
for critical thinking. Um, like I've seen all the types of ways. So for example, Medic Mind, they'll teach you two hours worth of critical thinking or something. It's very useless, isn't it? I find it very useless. It's a waste of time. Like it's about thinking, not about how much you know for how much logic you know. It does not make any sense at all. I find it very bad, personally. Uh, some companies use this methods. Some people use my methods. So it's very fast. Does not use any like you can just do it in your head. It's very fast. Uh, but, okay. So where can we have access to method fairly? Probably either in school or if you if you can just always text me WhatsApp. I'll just look by Uh, can ex can you explain the scoring to me, please? Sure. It's on the first. I've actually explained scoring on the first surgery, so you can look at the recordings for that. Methods are private, unfortunately. Uh, if you could recommend one book resource, what would it be? Again, be my past papers, NSA past papers, TSA. I've already talked about this in session one. Uh, like be my TSA, ECA, Enga, all those past papers for all the mission sets because they are written by the same people. So like, why would you buy more questions when you have all the mission sets for free? Is what I think. Um, yes, the, the strategy is written in a it's available in the written form. Uh, you can text me any questions. I prefer you, you text me to do the six, the, not, the BIMA exam group chat because then I can, everyone can explain it. And if no one knows how to do it, then I'll be the one stepping in. So, yeah, um, that's the one that we should be looking for as well. Um, okay. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, yeah, the boundaries have already been talked about, I guess. Um, yeah, score has already been discussed as well. The, wait, do you mean the, that book that was just, the, the blue one? Yeah, so you can access the recording. You just have to uh, look at the other ones. So you just go to websites. So you go to this website right here, I think. Yeah, this one. Okay. That's where you find the recordings for that. The OE book, you have to go to the seminars. Uh, it's like, I think it's part of the premier program. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, there are grocery for sure, there are. Um, but there are for schools, not individuals. Okay, one second. Uh... Okay, guys, one second. I'm just gonna check something out. My Zoom is glitching a little bit. But yeah, that was for sure, but they are for individuals. Uh... Yeah, so the parallelism arguments have already been covered. The question is a while ago. The cost is for school, so it's not up to you guys. Yes, yeah, it's just to, uh, but I do too much in here. Uh, okay, so we're not boundaries now. I don't have the, I haven't actually used a formula for this year, but I would say it's going to be about two marks or one mark lower than the ones we've got 20. And there are reasons for this, but which I'll explain later. Part of the machine cohort, then you just go to the small valuable schools rather than individuals. Okay, yeah, I have seen other teaching methods. Best resource to use. There's no, there's no such thing as the best resource that I've said here as well. Um, uh, it's first year. Well, of uni. So I'm like a freshness. Uh, I've been, I've been actually doing doing it for actually ages as well. Section one school improvements, initially most like strategies and like practice. Yeah, it can get someone to market essay. I think it's like some companies do that. I remember like back in the day they used to offer it. I think they still do. Uh, you can ask some mentors as well, it just depends. Um, and then for like a, a six in section one, I think it's like 25. And section two is about 18, give or take.
No, no, it's not always wrong, Lizzie. Sometimes it's correct, but it's all about common sense and like techniques. Yeah, indeed. But those are like for one second. So I'm gonna answer this one here. You know, you know, it depends on what like just go for whatever you like. Um one second. Yeah, so um Okay, I thought sometimes if things that Sigmund has mentioned, yeah, that is, depends on like the question. Sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's on the website, so you just go, I can just check it right now, I'm just going to find it. Um, yeah, it's on the so it's 34 for the late registration fee. So you just pay 34 more for the late entry. 34 pounds. Um, well, it does help, but I don't think it's that useful. I feel like cases are more useful than uh, journals from experience. Um, Okay, and that's it. Well, it's mostly because uh, when you think about it, um, yeah, someone just asked uh, why those methods are not shared. It's because, um, well, it's not such a sort of lawsuits, really, because when you think about it, when you, like, when someone just hires you for doing something, then obviously you have to justify that value. So, um, I can't just go left, right, and center, just like leaking techniques that are supposedly exclusive just for them. So let's speak of that mostly. There is a section that's next week. Yeah, there is. Section two tips will be uh, covered uh, next week as well. Um, so someone asked the average mark that, that my students are getting on the past papers. Uh, I'll say about 2022 20, in section two and then like 28 in section three. It's average, but it's like a sample of 10. Uh, like, not the minimum is like, I haven't seen anyone getting below six ever. But, so, the minimum is a six. Most people actually get higher. So, seven is very common. Eight is a bit rare, but it's a bit common still. And then nine is a bit quite rare. But mostly sevens is the average, I would say. The minimum is six. On a sample of 10 people. Um, I don't have the recording from like last year, but I'll be going over them anyways this year. So there is, you know, no, no hurry. Um, the key thing is like revision is mostly like strategies because people just focus on confidence instead of strategies and like time management. Those are the most important, I'd say. Um, Topics, um, it depends. For, se for section one, it's quite predictable. For section two, we'll cover that in the section two sessions. But yeah, I think it's about it, guys. Um, any more questions on this one? Uh, scoring, you just go to the session one uh, for this the, the sessions and they'll find it yeah it's more than enough to write it 
you just have to um, be concise and that efficient with it. But yeah, it's definitely more than possible. Uh, I don't. Uh, wait, it's on the website then. It's over here. Yeah, it's uh, on just take chat. No worries. I'll show the graph in a bit as well. Yeah, it's definitely more than enough. I might just quite uh, quite a lot actually. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll just. Uh, we'll just stop recording. Uh, so yeah, thanks for the session here, and hopefully you find, find it useful. If you have any more questions, you can just ask um, over here. So on WhatsApp, there's also the channel, uh, and yeah. So this one's done.